that little light on your dashboard that makes your heart sink. What does it mean and what should you do about it? The check engine light is your car's way of telling you there's a problem with its emissions or engine performance. It's important to know the difference. A solid light is a warning, but a flashing light indicates a serious issue that requires immediate attention. Ignoring it can turn a simple fix into a costly repair. In this video, we're demystifying that light. I'll show you the top 10 reasons it turns on and give you the straightforward solutions you need to solve the problem and get back on the road. Reason 1. The O2 Sensor The first and most common culprit is a faulty O2 sensor or oxygen sensor. Think of it as your engine's breathalyzer. This small part is located in your exhaust system, constantly measuring the amount of unburned oxygen. This data is critical because it tells your car's computer how to calculate the perfect air fuel mixture. When an O2 sensor fails, that crucial communication breaks down. Your engine's computer starts guessing, and the result is a domino effect. You'll notice a drop in your gas mileage, your car might run a little rough, and it'll start pumping out more emissions. The good news? This is a straightforward fix. An OBD2 scanner will usually show codes like P0130, P0167, which point to a failing sensor. While you could try cleaning it if there's only light buildup, the most reliable solution is replacement. With the right socket, this is a very doable DIY repair, and swapping it out will quickly get your car running efficiently again. Reason 2. Loose Gas Cap The second reason for that check engine light is by far the simplest and cheapest to fix, a loose or missing gas cap. You might not realize it, but your gas cap is a key part of your car's evaporative emissions control or EVAP system. Its job is to create a sealed system that prevents harmful fuel vapors from escaping. When the cap is loose, the car's computer detects a pressure leak, and in response, it triggers the check engine light. The solution is literally in your hands. Just pull over, get out, and tighten your gas cap until you hear it click at least a few times. If the light doesn't turn off after a few short driving cycles, check with an OBD2 tool for codes like P0440, P0457 to confirm an EVAP leak. In that case, your cap might be worn out and replacing it is an easy, low-cost DIY fix. Reason 3. A faulty catalytic converter. The third reason on our list is a more serious one, a faulty catalytic converter. This is a vital component of your exhaust system that acts as a chemical filter, converting toxic gases like carbon monoxide into less harmful pollutants. Over time, it can become clogged or damaged, which prevents your engine from breathing properly. This will lead to a significant drop in power, poor acceleration, and sometimes you might even notice a distinct smell like rotten eggs coming from your exhaust. Unfortunately, a damaged catalytic converter almost always needs to be replaced. If your scanner shows P0420 or P0430, that's a strong clue. While you can try fuel system cleaners to clear light carbon buildup, replacement is usually the long-term fix. Because converters are expensive, it's important to catch earlier problems like bad O2 sensors or misfires before they damage it. Reason 4. Bad spark plugs or wires. The next reason is a classic, especially for older vehicles, bad spark plugs or wires. Think of a spark plug as the tiny ignition key for each cylinder in your engine. Its job is to create a powerful spark that ignites the air-fuel mixture, which is what makes your engine run. When a spark plug or its wire is worn out, that spark becomes weak or inconsistent. This causes a misfire where the combustion process fails in one of your cylinders. Your car's computer detects this misfire and because it can be damaging to other components, it will often trigger a flashing check engine light. Fortunately, this is a very common fix. Your scanner will usually show codes like P0300, P0306 to identify misfires. Spark plugs and wires are routine maintenance parts that can be checked and replaced at home with basic tools. Doing so often restores smooth performance right away. Reason 5. Mass Airflow MAF Sensor Failure Our fifth reason is the Mass Airflow Sensor or MAF Sensor. This sensor is a critical component that measures the exact amount of air entering your engine. Your car's computer uses this data to know precisely how much fuel to inject for the perfect air fuel mix. When a MAF sensor gets dirty or fails, it sends bad data to the computer. This can lead to a whole range of performance issues like a rough idle, poor acceleration, or even stalling. The computer sees something is wrong, and you guessed it, turns on the check engine light. The good news is, sometimes this is an easy fix. If your OBD2 scanner shows codes like P0100, 
P0104. Start by removing the MAF sensor and spraying it with a dedicated cleaner. If cleaning doesn't solve the problem, replacing the sensor is still a simple DIY job that only requires a screwdriver. Reason 6. A vacuum leak. The next item on our list is one of the most common and often cheapest fixes, a vacuum leak. Your engine is a complex machine, and it relies on a series of small rubber hoses to control various systems, from your brakes to your emissions. They're called vacuum hoses because they use the engine's vacuum pressure to operate. Over time, these hoses can become brittle, crack, or simply come disconnected. When that happens, it creates a vacuum leak. Your car's computer senses that the pressure is wrong, and it can cause a rough idle, poor performance, and yes, trigger that check engine light. The good news is, finding and fixing a vacuum leak is often a simple process. Codes like P0171 or P0174 often point to this problem. You can visually inspect hoses, listen for hissing sounds, or even use soapy water to spot bubbles around leaks. Replacing damaged hoses is inexpensive and a straightforward DIY fix. Reason 7. Exhaust Gas Recirculation EGR Valve Issue the seventh reason is an issue with the EGR valve. The EGR or exhaust gas recirculation valve has a pretty important job. It sends a small amount of exhaust gas back into your engine's combustion chambers. This might sound counterintuitive, but it's a critical process designed to cool down the combustion and dramatically reduce harmful nitrogen oxide emissions. When an EGR valve gets clogged with carbon buildup or becomes stuck, it throws off your engine's delicate balance. You might notice a rough idle a distinct pinging noise from the engine, or even stalling. All of these are symptoms that can cause your check engine light to turn on. In some cases, cleaning the EGR valve with a throttle body cleaner can restore its function. If your scanner shows P0400, P0409, that's confirmation. If cleaning doesn't work or the valve keeps sticking, replacement is often the most reliable long-term solution. Reason 8. The thermostat is sticking open or closed. Our eighth reason deals with a part that controls your engine's temperature, the thermostat. This little device's job is to regulate the flow of coolant to ensure your engine reaches and maintains its optimal operating temperature. If your thermostat gets stuck open, your engine will take far too long to warm up. Your car's computer will detect that the engine isn't reaching its ideal temperature and will trigger the check engine light. On the other hand, if the thermostat gets stuck closed, it's a much more serious problem. It prevents coolant from flowing, which can cause your engine to quickly overheat and lead to catastrophic damage. In either case, the solution is the same. The thermostat is a relatively inexpensive part, and OBD2 codes like P0128 will usually point to the issue. Replacing it is a common repair for mechanics, but many DIYers can do it at home too, provided they're comfortable draining and refilling coolant. Reason 9. Faulty Ignition Coil the ninth reason on our list is a faulty ignition coil. Think of the ignition coil as a small transformer. Its job is to take the low voltage from your car's battery and turn it into the extremely high voltage needed to create a powerful spark at your spark plugs. When an ignition coil fails, it can't deliver that high voltage jolt. The result is a misfire in one of your engine's cylinders. You'll often feel this as a rough, stuttering, or stumbling engine, especially when you're accelerating. The good news is that a diagnostic scanner can typically pinpoint exactly which coil is faulty. For example, codes like P0301, P0306 will tell you which cylinder is misfiring. Sometimes you can confirm by swapping coils between cylinders to see if the misfire moves. Replacing a bad ignition coil is a simple, common repair that many car owners can do themselves. Reason 10. The EVAP purge control valve has failed. Our final reason brings us back to the EVAP system, but this time, the culprit is the EVAP purge control valve. Think of this valve as a gatekeeper. Its job is to precisely control when and how fuel vapors from a charcoal canister are sent back into the engine to be burned. When this valve gets stuck open or fails, it creates a leak in the EVAP system. Your car's computer immediately detects this unmetered flow of vapor, that leak, and triggers the check engine light as a warning. While it won't typically cause performance issues, it will prevent your car from passing an emissions test. The solution for this is relatively simple. If your scanner shows codes like P0441, P0443, or P0496, you've likely found the issue. The faulty purge valve needs to be replaced, 
And the good news is that this is usually a straightforward DIY repair since it's just a small solenoid with a couple of hoses and an electrical connector. So there you have it, the top 10 reasons your car's check engine light is on with clear, actionable solutions for each. The main takeaway here is to not panic. While it can be a serious issue, it's often something you can fix yourself or a manageable repair. Remember, a flashing check engine light means you need to pull over immediately. A solid light gives you time to get it checked out. If this video helped you solve your check engine light mystery, hit that like button and subscribe for more car tips that will save you time and money. I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever had a check engine light issue that wasn't on this list? Let me know what it was in the comments below. Drive safe, and I'll see you in the next video.